Welcome back to another scintillating episode. This is David Sands in the Ralph Hallow chair. Hallow ground here, yeah. Uh, what are we up to today, Dave? Talking about uh, Christine O'Donnell, Christine the uh, O'Donnell. news gift that keeps on giving. The, uh, She's the darling of the media. She's the darling of the media. Yep. She, so the Del Delaware Republican Senate candidate. That's Nobody correct. expected that about a week ago, but she defeated the uh, Mike establishment Castle. candidate, and now um, yeah. she's going through the uh, kind of the traditional hazing that the national media gives the, these uh, Tea Party candidates when they emerge out of nowhere. Is this traditional hazing or is this uh, uh, extraordinary hazing? In your well, opinion? it's kind of right along the lines of what Rand Paul went through, what uh, Sharon Angle went through in uh, Nevada, a little bit of what Joe Miller's going through in Alaska. And same duration, same intensity? Well, it's just think? like everything that's in her past that might be questionable or colorful, and there's well, actually a fair amount in her no, past I that could be questionable and colorful. Com it's coming out right now. I'm thinking that the media folks are more interested in her because of the cannibalization uh, factor from Rove and, and Krauthammer and other people. The, she's, it's a little different. The, well, it? the fun thing, I mean, it's news when the conservatives themselves are tearing themselves right. up over her. I mean, the, you didn't see this with some of the other candidates. That's what that, I'm trying uh, to get at. Yeah. Like Rand Paul, everybody kind of quickly uh, in Kentucky, they rallied around him. But she is, uh, um, I'll give her credit. She's standing up for herself. There was a values voter uh, summit this weekend that Ralph covered that she mm -hmm. uh, did quite well at. She's getting another hit today from a How is ethics group saying she spent some money, but she keeps coming right back at them and uh, fighting kind of the Sarah Palin kind of fight. I got to take a lot of this stuff with a grain of salt that's coming at her. I mean, because it's mischaracterization. Bill Maher is one of her big critics, right. and I, I'm, I'm sorry, Bill Maher just doesn't have the credibility <laughs> that, I, that he used to have with me. Um, but you know, he. What do you think of her time usage here? She got a, apparently she was in Twitter conversation with uh, Sarah Palin who said make good use of your time and on Sunday where was she? Well I kind of I'm torn on that one she blew off the national press which uh -huh. I don't like when they don't answer questions uh -huh. but uh, her argument was I got more better things to do in Delaware so she that's where she went. She wanted to be in the pews uh, with so the folks. So that's where she is now. And those are the only voters that really count yeah. in the end right? On November 2nd they will uh -huh. yep.